Well, Columbus Park is more public about posting data probably just because it's we're comfortable with it. And, and when we started five years ago, um, it was it was a struggle. Um, people were at different levels. And now it's just the culture within our building that it's it's just we don't even think about it. And um, it's the work that we do every day in grade level team meetings, communicating with parents, working with the kids, and really it's just an expectation. We don't even, it's just second nature to us at this point. I would have to say years ago, being in the classroom, we were very leery about posting data, like, oh, you know, the kids really, you know, should they really know that they're really, you know, they're in the red area, that they're really below grade level. Um, so we really, I think on our part, we were holding that in ourselves. We weren't. We really weren't sh sharing it with the children. We weren't sharing it with um, parents. And as the as years went on, you know, we we came. We as a building, we decided. You know what? We're we're going to stop posting the data in the classrooms because the children need to take ownership. They need to know where they are. They need to know. This is where I am. This is where I really need to be. How am I going to get there? So it's almost like they really needed. They needed a roadmap themselves. And with in, in conferencing with the children, setting goals with them, really kind of put us on board. And everyone here, it's a very unique culture. We've all really worked together. So it's for us. This is it's just been ongoing now. Some examples of how we're we're more public is I would say at this point, it, we send things home to parents in print. Um, where where we're showing them this is this is where your child's at this is our school-wide data this is the classroom data in in our newsletters we post things um, we, we have it in our school-wide newsletter as well as grade level t newsletters um, it's really one of those things where so that parents are part of it family members are part of it they get it you know we're at 40 whatever and I'm just 40 percent proficient um, we need to be at 80%, we need to be at 100%, but this is where we're at right now, this is where we're performing, and this is where we need to be. I think that we get out of our fear by posting data is just by um, understanding that things aren't always going to be perfect at first. You know, you are, what's right and what's wrong, we're not really sure, and you don't know that right away, and it's through practice and working together once again and seeing what's working and what's not. Well, the results we've seen based on what, what the posting of data and the work that we've done with data is our, our proficiency levels, our MCAS proficiency levels have gone up um, significantly in the past um, five years. So my role as the principal that I see, I see my role um, to get data more public and to really show people that it's okay it, it's really modeling it's collaborating and it's supporting and, and I think it, it's every single day relentlessly communicating at grade level team meetings that this data is really what drives our instruction and, and it's okay and post it and let children see you know because there's nothing more real and authentic than looking at where your kids are at and where they need to be and sometimes it's uncomfortable but if you get over the hump you feel better and in my role is you know I'm in and out of classrooms I, I celebrate with the the teachers and the kids we celebrate in classrooms when you know map testing is going on you know kids come to me and they they come before they test and show me their score and then they they come after and I really support the teachers by celebrating the growth that each individual students made I go around to classrooms you know and it's not just during you know benchmark testing it's really you know all year you know every day and we celebrate successes and and I think as an as a leader that's what you need to do you need to support your teachers you need to continuously tell them this is okay and this is good. This is good, you need to trust me, this is good stuff. And once again, I, it, it works, it is good for kids. And our job when we wake up in the morning as educators is to say, what is good for kids? Okay, so the fears that we encountered as a, as a school, um, first and foremost, uh, it's how are the kids gonna feel? How are the children? I think every teacher in America feels this way, but it's really, you're real worried about the yellows and the reds. You're real, real worried about the reds, somewhat worried about the yellows, and no one really, the greens were a-okay, and, and I can say honestly, candidly, and frankly, at Columbus Park when we began, we had a lot of reds. So that was a huge 
obstacle for us to overcome. And the teachers were, we were the, from the poor me, why, you know, these poor kids, they, they, they have enough going against them and they, they struggle to have food on their table and they struggle, you know, socially and emotionally. The way that we overcame this as an ILT and really as a whole faculty is we just had some difficult conversations. And it was kind of like me as the leader had to say, can you trust me on this? Because if, if we wake up in the morning and we do what's good for kids and what works for kids, this is gonna work for kids. So having the data displayed allows students to set a goal so they see where they are now and where they want to be and they celebrate the small steps as well as the bigger steps to get to that goal. I don't, when I set goals because I want to push myself much farther. That's why I, like, I try to, I got a student reference book and I want to like, I want to try to like finish that book by the end of this week, even though it's like 300 pages, because I want to like do like 40 pages a night, and that's how much I want to um, get a high school and get in the Hall of Fame in the math. The advice that I would have for a school, which I really, honestly, at the beginning, like I had said, I was like, oh no, you know, how are we going to do this? This is just going to, you know, the kids are going to feel terrible. The staff feels, you know, honestly, going through this experience, it's been the best thing. It's almost like an eye opener. It's it's been great. Like I said, the kids have they've really bought into this. The staff has really come aboard with this. And I think you really need to jump in and start moving. And I think I myself wished if I knew what I knew what I know now, I would have started this before.